In 2020, like many people, I was locked inside my house, and also like many people, I wanted to try my hand at something new, and that thing I wanted to try out was streaming. I never had big plans considering I was streaming to an audience of maybe one friend who would pop in from time to time, but you know, I still had fun with it. After each stream, I would make a quick highlight video with a thumbnail and post it on my Twitch page in case anyone had missed my stream or wanted to see some amazing level 50 gameplay in normals. Around this time, I made a .exe video with iMovie and some clips I had while playing Aatrox, and I worked on it for a couple of weeks from time to time, and I had a lot of fun with it, even if it wasn't anything crazy. But after a while of making content mainly for myself, I decided to step away from it since I didn't feel I was really good enough at anything related to it, or at least good enough to be worthy of people taking time out of their day to check out what I had to offer. But after a few months of not doing much, I began to have that kind of itch or urge to make content again. And this time I would solely be focusing on streaming Geometry Dash, since it was a much easier game to be discovered on and it was a game I'd played and loved for years. After taking time to brand my channel and give it an identity, I actually began to have some people watching my streams, and there were days where it even cracked double digits in viewership, which was crazy to me. It was my first time experiencing any sort of attention to my content from people I didn't know, which was scary, but also of course kind of cool. But just like last time, I struggled with consistency and online school and ultimately decided to cease streaming altogether. And for about a year, I didn't think much about creating online content, so through the end of 2020 and through most of 2021, I focused instead on playing games with friends, working at In-N-Out, and doing school. But around this time, I'd begun taking a video production class in my school, and once I learned how to change opacity or transparency on objects, it was like a whole new world had opened up to me. I began to understand how people put videos together that I enjoyed watching, so I thought to myself, why can't I do the same? And so, with the money I got from in and out I bought all the parts needed for a computer and had my friends help assemble it. Because no, I don't know how to build a computer on my own. I bought a lot of things I would need for content, including Premiere Pro on my own computer, a camera, and a microphone, which I'm still using right now. And for the first time in around a year and a half, I returned to making content by posting my first ever video and doing some live streaming as well. And in late February 2022, the journey to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube began. I cannot thank each and every one of you enough for at some point clicking on one of my videos and giving me a chance to provide you with the best quality content I feel I could offer and it has been an incredible ride so far. I'm blessed to have such nice people in this little community that gives constructive criticism, compliments, or any other commentary since I've realized it's not a very easy thing to come by with a lot of League of Legends content nowadays. And some other wild things have happened as well, such as G2's players watching my edit of their best moments, FlyQuest subscribing to my channel, vlogging the best world finals ever, and being posted on League's official Twitter. And so, a year and a half later, we've now finally built a community of over 1,000 subscribers, and let me tell you, things are only going up from here. And so now we're here and yeah in this video I'm just going to answer some of your guys questions then probably just talk about some just basic channel stuff afterwards so feel free to stick around if you like it's going to be me celebrating myself for for I guess the whole video but um yeah without further ado let's just get to the first question here uh so why did you decide to do YouTube videos I wanted to from time to time but never found the motivation to go all in on it sweet okay so the reason I kind of decided to start doing YouTube videos is I would watch people make YouTube videos of course and I would just sit there and think well I I can do that I know how they're doing that so why am I not doing that kind of thing and I think what was a partial motivator for me as well is that I had done some like iMovie editing in the past that was like really not good like it was fine for what it was but it's just mainly for fun um, but once I took a video production course at my school I kind of began to be like okay this is what like Adobe products and like I like editing in here and so I picked up the basics I think I learned how to use a keyframe once I learned that I pretty much taught myself everything else because it all kind of follows a similar pattern but yeah as for motivation as well I think the biggest thing is make content you're passionate about if you look back to like the early days of this channel I have a lot of like set related videos because that's just what I was passionate about at the time really like playing the character and you know still one of my favorite characters got a poster of him in front of me right now yeah and over time I realized I like esports a lot so I've kind of been talking more about esports as well so I think ultimately finding the motivation to go all in is how passionate are you about something and do you think you have the creative skills to do it and obviously you can grow those creative skills over time as well so if you end up doing something, let me know and uh, best of luck to you. So the next one is, hi, this is PeachyZZZS. 
Hello. And yeah, some people put their names, not everyone, of course, but you can put your name if you want to on the questions. But yeah, uh, my question is, when do you plan on getting a girlfriend? Well, that's a little, <laughs> that's funny because I'm a League of Legends YouTuber and that's not very attractive, I feel like. But you know, it will happen when it happens. I currently don't have one, but if it happens, cool. But like, I'm not on any time pressure. So if I come across someone that I like enough, Ask me my girlfriend after a couple of dates, you know, we'll be good then. Or actually, what I might do is when the channel starts dying, I might just get a girlfriend and clickbait for content. I think that's actually the move here. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for the question though. Just want to say you love the content and keep it up from a fanatic fan. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you like the content. And yeah, even though I haven't been producing as much as I used to, mainly because videos are just taking a lot longer to make and also I just don't have as much time to make them because I've got work and school and other life stuff. Um, yeah, really glad you like it. And um, yeah, it is pretty cool that I have this platform to share it with you guys as well. So yeah, thank you for that. Okay, so the next question is, what rank are you slash what role do you play slash what champions do you play slash love your videos? And anonymous question here, but yeah, thank you for the question. I think my current rank is gold four. I played like 20 games or something like that this season. So I haven't really had the time to climb, um, but my peak rank, I think was like gold one in season 11. Like I actually had time to climb then. Yeah, hit gold one and then fell from there. And I don't know, just haven't like had the same motivation to grind ranked because ranked can be time consuming, especially if you're trying to improve. I'd rather spend that time making videos or doing other content stuff as well, which I feel I'm stronger at. My gameplay is good, but I just, you know, it's not great. <laughs> but yeah, what role do I play? So I play top lane. I am a cool, top lane player, and as for champions, uh, set, as I've already mentioned, it's probably kind of obvious from the beginning of the channel, but um, I'm mainly a gangplank player now. I, I'm the real cool, actually, I'll put up one of my clips right here while I'm talking about it. I'm real cool with it, you know, I'm super fun to play against, um, ghost barreling and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, I also play, you know, like Aatrox, Darius, Orn, Camille, Pike, uh, if I'm not playing top lane. Yeah, just played a lot of champions. And I don't know, but I like top lane. It's, I'm a gangplank top lane players in gold. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and yeah, love your videos, appreciate it as well. And thank you for asking the question. That's a good question for sure. <laughs> Why top lane? Also, 308 Negro Arroyo Lane, New Mexico. Okay, <laughs> Breaking Bad reference in there. I like top, and I actually think I cover this in one of my um, second channel videos, which I have a second channel. I don't upload on it very often, and it's just me talking uncut with some ARAM gameplay. If that's at all interesting, it's linked down below. I mainly got into top lane because I was playing Aatrox a lot. He looked cool. Well, actually, I was playing mid lane and I was like a Vagar one trick when I started learning League for the first time. And uh, Aatrox was like a mid laner at the time and I played against him I'm like, wow, this is super annoying. I'm like, I have to learn this champion now. And so I picked up Aatrox and I, he's still one of my most played champions. But yeah, he kind of introduced me to top lane because I started playing him all the time in top lane because that's where he goes. Um, then from there, I just kind of learned the lane. And then I was like, I like having that 1v1 to very, there's a set path that top lane always goes. It's, it's not as volatile. It's pretty consistent from game start to kind of that mid game point. Um, and also I just like the champions. I like the, yeah, I just like the more bruiser play style of having that potential to be the big strong guy who does a bunch of damage. Um, that's just really fun to me. So that's part of the reason I play top lane. What does an average day look like for you? And another anonymous one as well. But yeah, so an average day for me. So we're in summer now, which is cool, but I'm still doing online classes. So an average day for me works out to be, I normally get up around, like 6 30 or 7 or so i'm pretty early riser consistently no matter the time of the year it is and yeah nor every other day i go to the gym and go for a run so yeah prior to filming this i went out for a run went to the gym and showered up and i'm here now normally mornings are gym run and then any sort of like work related things any school related things um, or any content related things it mainly goes between school and content stuff um, school being a priority for obvious reasons. So I normally do like some homework or if I have some free time afterwards, I'll do some content stuff. And then I normally work in the afternoons, work for four hours on my school social media team, nothing crazy. And then uh, once I come home from that, get dinner and then do more content and homework and stuff and then sleep. <laughs> and just kind of do that all, all day, every day. That's kind of the set schedule I have. So yeah, I'm pretty busy, um, but I do try to fill my days with productive things essentially. Um, so that's why I don't like have as much time for League as I used to and as much time for content as I used to. But of course, I mean, I still still like both. It just may not always reflect that 
because I'm so busy. <laughs> so the next question we got here is, will you make content outside of League but still in video gaming? That is a good question actually. And something I should think about more, to be honest. Um, and the answer is for now, I think I'm gonna keep making content on League, mainly because it's the game I'm by far the most passionate about and knowledgeable about. Really big on the esports scene, hence all the G2 fanboying I do. Um, but yeah, I currently am making content within League, but it may not always be League. If another game comes around, I might adventure into that. But yeah, for now, expect League, but it could change in the future, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, no plans on changing though, by the way. It's still gonna be leaked for a while, I think. <laughs> How do you balance work and school and YouTube? Um, not super well. <laughs> um, it's hard because, you know, obviously I want to have uh, free time as well, just to like hang with friends and be a college student who like has free time. Um, no, I don't party, I make league videos. Um, mainly, I think just having a set schedule is really nice. Having just literally just written on your calendar between these times, I'm going to do this. And then that way you have like, you know you'll be doing stuff during those times. Um, that's probably the best trick that I have, but it does take up a lot of my day. Even though it's scheduled stuff, it's still that schedule takes up a lot of my day each day. Um, cause I'm doing homework for like three hours or so a day, working for four hours and then often go to the gym for a run, um, eating. And obviously I enjoy making content, but it's hard. I can't put that as my top priority when I have school and work just because those are much more stable. And obviously like there are people who do content for their jobs, but I'm far from that point. Hence this video only being a thousand subscribers, which is still a crazy number by the way. Like that's a crazy big number. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not up the 100,000 like can do this for a job quite yet, but yeah. All right, so it looks like we are at the end of the questions, um, but yeah, I'll kind of talk about just content and stuff. Um, talked about it a little already, but you know, just have a little dedicated section to it now. So for content, still planning on making content as usual. Videos have slowed down some just from busyness as I mentioned and trying not to burn out as well. I might make a video at some point kind of going over how I make videos just for those who may be interested but it takes around like 30 to 40 hours to make a video which is a big time commitment especially with a busy schedule. Um, so that's why it's a little slower than it used to be because I'm just putting more effort in. I hope it shows but if it's not showing then you know at least I know that I'm putting in more effort and that makes me happy. But yeah I do have LCS vlog coming up in late July slash early August since they are not canceling the LCS for this season so it means I'll be able to go down with some friends and then yeah I'll be there. And then other content stuff I have no plans to stop doing content in the future. For now I don't think much is going to change. I also I realize I never promote these things but I have a link tree down in the description and I have a Instagram which you can follow I just sometimes post pictures of me in my life and then other stuff on there. But yeah so I've got an Instagram I have a Twitter I don't really use Twitter. I just kind of have it so I can have it. I also have a TikTok, which is a lot of just reposting stuff on Instagram. But if you use TikTok and not Instagram, you know, feel free to follow there. Then I have Complexly Spant, which is my second channel where I just talk about stuff uncut. And it's just like, just to chill, essentially. You can watch the first video on that. It's like three minutes long. It'll kind of explain it. Um, then lastly, and probably most importantly, I have a Discord, but I never promote that I have a Discord, but I do have one. It's not super big or anything, but it's, you know, it's there if you want to chat, hang out, maybe like conversate while game's happening, you know, I'm down. Um, but yeah, you can join any of those if you want. But of course, you know, thanks again for subscribing to this channel. And if you haven't already, what are you doing watching this video? It's a subscriber video. You gotta, you gotta subscribe for the subscriber video. I think that's about, you know, I, I think that's good for thousand subscriber special and already well i can't really elaborate too much on it now but i do have some cool stuff coming in 2024 if all things go to plan so yeah i've been playing it for about two months or so but having the time to like fill busyness fill, having the time of within all the busyness to work on 2024 stuff is a little taxing but i have stuff working on it so i'm not going anywhere I'm chilling and yeah, doing my best to keep the content good and improving it. So thanks as always for watching and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video, which I am currently working on as well. So awesome. Have a good one, y'all. Later.